Hey guys, it's Rebecca over at Rusty Row Kia of Waukesha and I'm here today to talk to you about what kinds of things you should bring to your appointment when you're shopping for a new car. Um, so a lot of people are unsure what they should bring with them or they get real excited about their new vehicle and for whatever reason they're not able to take it home with them the same day. So I wanna make sure that you can pick out your car and take it home with you that very same day. So a few of the things that you're gonna want, first and foremost is picture identification, whether it be a driver's license, a state ID, an out of state ID, um, whatever the case may be, make sure that you have a picture ID. The second thing to bring, proof of insurance. If you currently have insurance on your vehicle, bring the proof with you because you can transfer that to the new vehicle. And if you're financing the car, you're gonna to have to prove that you have insurance before you can drive it off the lot. The third thing is gonna be proof of income. So if you work an hourly job or a salary job, you're gonna to wanna to bring your two most recent paycheck stubs with you. If for some reason you can't access your paycheck stubs, some banks will also accept your three most recent bank statements as long as they show that the deposits are consistent and regular in your account. What if you don't have a job? What should you bring with you then? A retirement statement works. A bank statement can support retirement income as well. If you receive some sort of social security or social security disability, you can bring your award letter, but make sure that it's dated for the current year. Um, otherwise the banks will not accept that. Um, and again, with a social security disability benefits, you can use a bank statement to prove that as well. As long as you're seeing consistent deposits um, and that the deposits are coming from the same source, most banks will accept that depending on the situation. Um, what else counts for proof of income? Um, if you have some sort of military benefit, as long as you have an award letter from the military or a pay statement from the military, we can accept that as well. Um, but again, it really depends on which bank we're working with and what they're willing to accept for proof of income. And you can always call us to ask what you might want to bring with you. The third thing, proof of residence. Um, what counts as proof of residence? A utility bill is the easiest way to prove residence because you're not going to be paying utilities at a residence that you don't live at, right? Um, but what if your name is not on the utility bill where you live? What can you use for proof of residence? Some banks will accept a lease agreement as long as it's recent and computer printed and signed by both you and the landlord and dated. Um, some banks will accept a bank statement as long as it has the current address. And when you're submitting your address or telling the salesperson or sales manager what your address will maybe, make sure that you include the apartment number. Or if you have like an upper, lower, or a, a letter at the end of your address, make sure you include that because sometimes that can affect the approval or the funding of the loan. Um, so again, just make sure that you bring something that has your full address on it, like a utility bill, a cell phone bill, a landline phone bill, credit card statement, bank statement, things like that. And if you're not sure, bring a couple pieces with you. And depending on the bank that we work with, we'll let you know what will or won't work. Um, some banks will even accept a paycheck stub as long as it has your current and full address on it. Um, so those are just the basics to bring with you. Make sure that you bring your picture ID, proof of insurance if you have it. If you don't, we can help you get insurance. That's no problem at all. Um, proof of income and proof of residence. Those are the four main ones to bring with you. Um, and if you have any question about anything, give us a call. We're happy to help or bring it all with you and we'll help you sort through to determine what you do need, what the bank will accept and what won't work for it. Um, so again, my name is Rebecca over at Waukesha Kia. If you have any questions about what to bring with you to your appointment, just give us a call or bring everything with and we'll help you sort through it. You can reach us at 262-547-1300 for your VIP appointment. We can't wait to meet you.